How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy and in this video we'll be taking a look at iRobot AVA 500. So uh, this is uh, some sort of robotic system. It's a collaboration with Cisco and it uses Cisco's EX60 uh, teleconferencing system. So the monitor we can actually see there is mounted with a camera and is a 21.5 inch display uh, with speaker there, microphone and so on. And the neck actually allows it to move up and down so it adjusts to uh, different eye levels. So if you're taller than me or uh, whatever height you are, you'll be able to adjust it. And this is all controlled by the actual user in a remote location. So the guy we can see on the screen there is actually in another part of the world entirely and he's communicating with us uh, directly thanks to the Wi-Fi connectivity and internet connectivity in general. Uh, so this thing can move into different places and different locations, uses different sensors and mapping technology to be able to find his way around the actual location where it's at. So maybe it's in an office or wherever you want to have it in, you'll be able to move around as you wish. So this can actually be controlled by just a simple iPad application by iRobot. So uh, what this device itself, the actual robot uh, itself can do is map its location uh, by just scanning around and then you can tag different locations. So for example, you can tag the stage, uh, you can tag uh, the corner, you can tag different parts of the lecture theatre, for example, you can tag it all there. So it's easy to, uh, to manoeuvre around and all you need to do is just make a call when you're ready to actually connect to someone else. So when you're ready, you simply make a call, press go, and it makes a connection to the remote location that you've selected on the list of available locations that you've got, uh, which is pretty nifty, actually. I, I really like this system. I mean, the potential for this is uh, endless. I mean, doctors can use it, for example, to remotely look at their patients. Uh, in, in, in the nursing home, for example, doctors don't have to visit very often. Uh, they can simply map their way out and uh, connect remotely and do so. Because this is connected via Wi-Fi, internet in general, good quality internet, uh, you can actually see the quality of the display and the conversation. There's little or no lag at all. Uh, they can hear the audio quality clearly so we can hear each other. Uh, we were speaking to the guy. Uh, you're able to turn around the robot itself to just to wherever you want to see, whatever you want to see in the remote location is entirely up to you. But what I'm impressed with is the uh, visual quality of the actual conferencing system there. What we can also see here is actually the uh, operation of inaction there. So the guy there is talking to the lady again in a totally remote part of the world, uh, which I have no idea where that was, but it definitely wasn't in that building where I was. Um, but yeah, so you can easily do that. So uh, once it's mapped out these locations using the sensors and whatnot, uh, then you can control it and do whatever you want remotely. Uh, this can dock itself, it lasts for six hours. If companies want it, they can lease it for between 2,000 uh, to 2.5K uh, per month. Um, so you do the maps, how much that's gonna work out a year to work out how important, how important this would actually be uh, for your business, for your company. And this is actually myself after chatting to the guy trying to work out how to use it. And what you notice is no matter how close I get to this guy, I just could not hit him because the sensors are working hard here to make sure that I don't hit him. And he just tries and tries to maneuver his way off of the guy. Anyway, guys, do let me know what you think as usual. And thanks for watching. I shall catch you guys in the next one.